What's up guys, Benny here and welcome to one of my most requested videos for Call of Duty Warzone Season 5, my top 10 loadouts. Now, the loadouts that you're about to see in this video will cover every playstyle. Whether you like to run and gun with an assault rifle SMG combo, or you want to take out enemies at a distance and use a sniper. I've also taken into consideration whether you're playing on console or PC, as some weapons perform differently if you're using a controller versus a mouse and keyboard. But these are the loadouts that I've used and I've optimized the class setup so that they're the best that they can possibly be. But before we get into my first loadout, 75.5% of you watching this video are not subscribed and we're getting so close to 400k subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So subscribe and you'll get better at Warzone, I promise. Now, my first loadout I like to call the Broken and for good reason, because this loadout is straight up overpowered. And we're most likely get nerfed in the next weapon update. But it starts off with the Bruin MK9, which is effectively an assault rifle in the LMG category, but it deals 46 damage per bullet to the head and 36 to the chest, destroying every assault rifle in the damage category, which is why you can drop enemies so quickly with it. Honestly, if you're not using this, you're missing out. But on the Bruin itself, you want to be running that monolithic suppressor pretty much other than a few exceptions. If the gun's got a monolithic suppressor in Warzone, it's going on the gun. Then you want to whack on that XRK Summit 26.8 inch barrel. You want that extra damage range, bullet velocity, and importantly, recoil control as you want to make your Bruin into as much of a laser as possible. Then we'll throw that tack laser on there for that fast rain down sight speed. And then you've got a couple of choices when it comes to the optic. Personally, I really enjoy using the VLK 3x optic on my Bruin. However, the Corp Combat Hollow Sight is also another really good option that gives you a really clean sight so you can see everything going on around you whilst being accurate and being able to gun down an opponent. Then finally, the most important attachment for the Bruin is the 60 round mag. This transforms the Bruin from being an LMG to effectively being an assault rifle as it greatly increases the gun's mobility. And that right now is the best automatic gun in the game. It deals a ton of damage, it's easy to use. The only negative is that it is an absolute pain to unlock as you've got to kill three enemies with an LMG near smoke in 15 different games, which can be quite time consuming if you don't have multiplayer. But the Bruin isn't the only broken gun in my broken loadout. You've also got the FAL as your close range weapon. This foul class is designed to dominate at close range and not to be used at medium range. That's what you've got the Bruin for. But you'll have that monolithic suppressor, XRK marksman barrel as you still want maximum damage range. Then you'll have that tack laser, commando foregrip, and then rather than using an optic, I use the no stock attachment for maximum mobility. Because to be perfectly honest, you just want to be able to aim down sights as quickly as possible. And because you're using this at close range, you don't need an optic as the iron sight for the foul is fairly decent. Though one thing I will say is the foul is definitely better if you're using a mouse and keyboard because you can easily hit the max fire rate, which is a lot harder to do with a trigger on a controller. But because of that new close range damage shelf, the foul will just be anyone up close, especially inside of buildings. And if you land those headshots, you can wipe entire squads without much of an issue. If it doesn't get nerfed, I'll be very, very surprised. Then for perks, I use double time, overkill and amped, which is a pretty standard perk setup before using a C4 and a heartbeat sensor. My next loadout is pretty similar to my first class, but instead of using the foul, I switch my secondary to an SMG, the MP5. That Bruin is exactly the same with the Molifix Suppressor, XRK Summit 26.8 barrel, TAC laser, VLK 3x optic, and the 60 round mag. But then I use an MP5 because as an SMG, your mobility is at its highest, which means you almost have the fastest movement speed possible in the game with a primary weapon. So 
when you're going for high kill games and kill race tournaments, for example, you want an SMG to be able to move around as quickly as possible and be able to play as aggressively as you can. On my MP5, I use the Monolithic Integral Suppressor as it gives you the benefits of both having a barrel along with still getting suppressed gunfire so you don't appear on the minimap. Then I use the FTAC Collapsible Stock, Merc 4 Grip, 45 round mag, and then stippled grip tape. One thing I will say is if you're going for high kill games is it can be worth swapping out the stippled grip tape for sleight of hand. It's a very small difference to the reload time, but it can make the difference in select situations. Then I use the exact same perk layout before using a C4. Then instead of a heartbeat sensor, I use a stun grenade. Usually you'll find yourself picking these up off the ground a lot as well, so you don't need to rely on having restock. Just remember to throw them in a gunfight so you don't waste them. My next best class for Warzone in Season 5 is my Kilo MP5 class. Ever since the Growl got nerfed in Season 4, the Kilo has risen to be one of the best and most consistent assault rifles in the entire game. Used by most players in the competitive Warzone scene due to its high mobility, ease of use and fast time to kill. I personally love using this thing and it's as close to how the Growl used to perform that you can get in the game currently. On the Kilo itself, you'll want to be using that Monolithic Suppressor, the Syngard Arms 19.8 Prowler Barrel, the Commando Foregrip, and 60 round mag before finally finishing off with an optic. Now my optic of choice is definitely the VLK. It's just what I've used for a large amount of time now and have found to work best for me. If you've got a different optic that you prefer that's low zoom, so under 3.25 times magnification, that'll also work as well. Now, the kilo you'll be using has that 556 ammo damage profile, so 42 damage for a headshot and then 28 to the body. That's the same as the M4A1, Ram, and the Growl, so it can take fully armored enemies down within five to nine bullets depending on where you're hitting them. Then with the Kilo, I tend to pair it with an SMG so that I'll use the Kilo for those medium to long range fights and then switch to that MP5 for fights inside of buildings or to move around the map quickly. And it's the same build that we saw earlier with the Monolithic Integral Suppressor, FTAC Collapsible Stock, Merc 4 Grip, 45 round mag and stippled grip tape. Then it's the same perks, double time, overkill and amped with a heartbeat sensor and a stun grenade. My next loadout actually involves one of the new guns in Warzone Season 5, the AN-94, which I wouldn't say is in the top three guns within Warzone, but if you use it correctly, it can definitely perform really well. On the AN-94 itself, you'll want the Monolithic Suppressor, the AN-94 Factory 438mm barrel, the VLK 3x Optic, the Commando Foregrip, and the 60 round mag. But the most important thing with the AN-94 is its hyperburst feature, which means when you start firing, it shoots two bullets in Instantly. So landing your first shot is key to having a fast time to kill. You also want to control burst it yourself. So shoot four to five bullets, stop firing for a split second, and then start again to get the highest time to kill possible. Then I've also started using the P90 to mix my SMGs up a little bit, and it's actually really good. You'll want the Monolithic Suppressor, the TAC Laser, Fly Strap Stock, and then Stippled Grip Tape on both the Under Barrel and the Rear Grip. Then the rest of the class is the same as we've seen. Double time, overkill, amped, and then a C4 and a heartbeat sensor. Then my next class I like to have as my aggressive sniper class, where I use the currently overpowered foul and then also the car 98K, which I really enjoy using, though you could swap this out for the AX50 or the HDR. They, they all work. But the foul is the same one that we saw earlier using the Monolithic Suppressor, XRK Marksman Barrel, the TAC Laser, No Stock, and the Commando Foregrip. Remember, don't try to use this foul for long distance. If you want to do that, remove the No Stock and add an optic like the GI Mini Reflex and change the Commando Foregrip for the Merc Foregrip. But both of those setups work really well for this class. Then I use the Car 98K with the Monolithic Suppressor, Syngard Custom 27.6 inch barrel, TAC laser, sniper scope, and then stippled grip tape. It's got a really fast aim down sight time, and if you can land your headshots, you can drop enemy squads whilst playing aggressively super quickly. And if you need to, crack their arm over the Car 98 and then finish them off with the foul. Then the perks are double time, overkill, and amped with a C4 and a heartbeat sensor. This next loadout has been pretty much 
much a staple loadout since the start of Warzone and is always a great all-round class to use if you need to go back to basics and just get a solid game under your belt in Season 5 and it's the M4A1 MP5 class. This is actually the loadout a few of the top players still use in tournaments who perform really, really well. On the M4 itself, you'll want the Molifix Suppressor, Stock M16 Grenadier Barrel, the Commando Foregrip, 60 round mag, and then I use the GI Mini Reflex Sight, which I really like on the M4. This build's got a really nice aim down sight time and packs a punch, just like the Kilo, one of the best all round assault rifles in the game. Then it's that MP5 again with the Monolithic Integral Suppressor, FTAC Collapsible Stock, Merc Foregrip, 45 round mag, and then stippled grip tape with double time, overkill, amp, C4, and a heartbeat sensor. One thing to note is if you prefer a slower play style, do feel free to swap the double time perk for EOD. Now, this next class. I feel the gun itself has got a kind of secret buff because it's honestly really, really good in the current meta and could sneak into the top couple of guns in Warzone depending on the changes made in the next weapon update. But for this loadout for a different assault rifle setup, I used the CR-56 with the MP5. On the CR-56 itself, I used the Molifix Suppressor, XRK Zodiac Barrel, the VLK 3x Optic, the Merc Foregrip, and then the 45 round mag. Once again, a super solid build for an assault rifle, and it packs a punch with some of the highest damage per bullet in the assault rifle category, so you can drop enemies at medium range quick with the fewest amounts of bullets. Then that MP5 is the same as we've seen a few times already with the exact same perks and equipment. Now these last few classes are my utility classes. Classes that I use in specific situations that you'll come across in Warzone. This one is my last resort class which I use when I need a gun at end game along with ammo. Normally if I've been bought back or won my gulag right before it closes. So I use the Bruin with the Molifix Suppressor, XRK Summit 26.8 barrel, the VLK 3x optic and the 60 round mag and then importantly the fully loaded perk which allows me to have max assault rifle ammo. Then I use EOD as I'm not planning on running around as much with ghost and then battle hardened as normally I have this class only at end game which is where you're more likely to be stunned. I also don't have a secondary weapon to switch to so that stun protection is more useful and then ghost keeps me off enemy radar and is gonna help me survive. Then finally, I have a C4 and a stun grenade, which are two of the most useful bits of equipment for endgame. Oh yeah, and my secondary weapon is an RPG because, you know, just in case. But like I said, this is a utility class and really my last resort for endgame, and I only use it if I really need to. And then my final two classes are identical, but one is set up for assault rifles and one is for an SMG, depending on what I need. The SMG you could also swap for a sniper if you like to use snipers a lot more. But Use your favorite SMG or assault rifle in the primary weapon slot from this video. I use the Bruin and the MP5 as my two. And then have an RPG in your assault rifle class, but in your SMG class, have a pistol with the fully loaded perk so your SMG has max ammo. A really handy thing to do if you haven't been doing it already. But those are my top 10 classes for Warzone Season 5. Honestly, these class setups will get you through any situation that you'll find yourself in within Warzone and have helped me get a lot of wins. But if you want a setup for any weapon in the game, let me know down in the comments or tweet me and I'll do my best to give you the best possible setups. But I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new and click one of the videos on screen for more Warzone content and I'll see you there. Bye.